ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் சேனல் ஐ எம் அருண்குமார் திஸ் இஸ் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி கிராஃப்டர்ஸ் வித் பானு டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ப்ரிப்பர் ஃபினைல் காம்பவுண்ட் பை யூஸிங் பாலிசார்பேட் ஏடி அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ப்ரிப்பர் ஃபினைல் சொல்யூஷன் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் காம்பவுண்ட் ஃபார் ஃபினைல் காம்பவுண்ட் மெனி ஃபார்முலாஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் already we have posted one formula by using soft soap and oleic acid this is another formula today our batch size is 100 ml this is the formula to prepare 100 ml phenyl compound by using polysorbate 80 first 75 ml 22% concentrated pine oil next 30 ml polysorbate 80 this is very safe material even for food industries pharmaceutical industries they will use it this is a excellent an emulsifier and also surfactant for polysorbate 80 there is one more name that is twin 80 this is brand name then sles 28% concentration this is 12 ml that's all so this is the formula for to prepare 100 ml of the phenyl compound now let us get into the making video all the materials are ready to prepare 100 ml of the phenyl compound this is 75 ml pine oil this is 30 ml polysorbate 80 and this is sles 12 ml first i am adding polysorbate 80 in pine oil of course instantly it is miscible with one spoon we can achieve the homogeneous solution then we need to add sles but sles is not instantly miscible so we are using another vessel i am charging the sles then i am adding the mixer now i am mixing but uh, manually i am unable to get the homogeneous solution sles is not getting mixed thoroughly so i am using blender mixing well now 100 ml phenyl compound is ready so that's all now by using this 100 ml phenyl compound we can prepare 2 liters of phenyl solution now we are going to prepare 1 liter of white phenyl solution and also one more liter of perfumed color phenyl solution this is the formula what we are going to follow if necessary you can take a screenshot first let us prepare white phenyl solution this is 2 liter capacity plastic vessel to prepare 1 liter phenyl solution this is sufficient first i am charging phenyl compound then i need to add 1 liter of the water so i am slowly adding the water with continuous stirring now almost white phenyl is ready finally we need to add preservative as usual i am adding phenoxyethanol now 1 liter white phenyl solution is ready next we need to prepare color phenyl solution so i am going to use color solution and also one perfume this is pink color solution i have taken pink color powder 1 gram and dissolved in 100 ml water that is 1% solution i have taken 8 ml that's all then this is perfume okay let us start first i am charging the perfume in phenyl compound it has to instantly miscible with phenyl compound it is our duty to ensure that whether the perfume is instantly miscible with phenyl compound or not because 
depends upon the composition of perfume and also whether it is in water medium or oil medium depends upon the brand anything is possible now for me with the normal shaking i got homogeneous solution perfume is instantly visible with phenyl compound now i am charging this mixer i mean mixer of phenyl compound and perfume then i need to add the water 1 liter of the water after adding 200 ml or 300 ml water i am adding the color then i am adding the remaining water but here the important thing is during the preparation of phenyl solution the blending speed is very important otherwise there is possibility for layer separation and also i have added the preservative now color solution is ready now both white phenyl solution and color phenyl solutions are ready we will allow to settle for 24 hours after 24 hours we will observe is there any layer separation this is after 24 hours this is color phenyl there is no layer separation we can prepare phenyl compound only by using polysorbate without sles also but sles is required for two reasons first one is if we are adding perfume if we are going to prepare color phenyl solution means sles will improve the solubility of the perfume one reason merely white phenyl means sles is not required and another important reason is sles is an excellent surfactant so this phenyl solution after addition of sles this phenyl solution will act as disinfectant as well as cleaning material in our bathroom completely homogeneous this is white phenyl this is also no layer separation completely homogeneous will transfer it into the beaker this is the expected thickness of phenyl solution the reason is in this phenyl solution nearly 95% is water only water is the medium remaining 5% only we are adding the other materials like pine oil sles whatever it is so this is original formula we have used sufficient amount of pine oil in 1 liter of the phenyl solution this will act as a very good disinfectant and also without affecting our environment if necessary for commercial purpose we can add any thickening material generally carbomer is the best choice for thicken phenyl solution but to prepare transparent carbomer gel we need to follow the specific method now we'll discuss one important thing for this formula for me after 24 hours there is no layer separation both in white phenyl and also in color phenyl of course by using this same formula i have prepared some white phenyl and color phenyl solutions 2 3 months before still they are in homogeneous condition no layer separation so the conclusion is the formula is okay and another important point is my materials are matching with this formula so those who are going to use this formula for business purpose first they have to do a trial batch so they have to ensure the quality for at least one or two months they have to ensure that there is no layer separation then only they have to use this formula for business purpose the reason is apart from formula the materials are very important i mean what is the concentration of your pine oil whether it is 22% concentration or 18% or 32% or anything else and what is the grade of pine oil i mean in case of 22% concentration pine oil what is the remaining 78% that is the grade and what is the perfume you are going to use branded perfume or a local perfume how much amount of perfume you are going to use 
what is the color solution you are going to utilize is there any thickening materials you are going to utilize what is the dilution ratio i mean with 1 liter of phenyl compound how many liters of water you are going to mix 20 liters or 25 liters or 30 liters what is the preservative you are going to add so based on these things the layer separation will be there not only the formula these things should match with your formula so with your available materials do one trial batch ensure the quality for at least one month or two months then if it is okay you can use this formula for your business purpose